Martha Payne is an unlikely global star. The young girl from Scotland is changing the lives of thousands of children in one of the world's poorest countries. Her simple blog on school dinners hit the headlines and won worldwide attention. It's now helping to feed those who are going without. This is the story of how Martha raised money to buy meals in Malawi. Martha's blog, Never Seconds, showcases just how disappointing her school lunches are. And she's gone viral. Martha takes a photo of her school lunch every day and posts it on her blog. She's not always happy about the food because it's often unhealthy and unappetizing. She says that she's a growing kid and her lunches aren't what she needs to concentrate all afternoon at school. Martha Payne dreams of being a journalist, but she didn't expect to hit the headlines at the age of nine. So why do you come home hungry from school? Well, because sometimes the meals are a wee bit small and sometimes I don't eat them that much because they're not very nice. Martha might not always be keen on her school dinners, but her local council weren't impressed with the attention her blog generated. The council banned her from taking photos in the school dinner hall, but that just made her site even more popular. The blog may have started as a writing project, but Martha saw an opportunity. She thought she could raise £2,000 for charity. As the hits on her site soared, the donations rolled in and she raised over £117,000. So, when it was clear that the blog has raised enough money to build a kitchen in Malawi, Martha and her family decided to cancel their summer holiday in France and head to Africa instead. Malawi, home to 15 million people. Three quarters of them live on around 60 pence a day. Maize porridge, the one meal a day for millions. Donations to Martha's blog funded this kitchen. It means that 2,000 children a day will no longer go hungry. For Martha and her family, this is the moment they had waited for. The chance to visit the kitchen they helped to create. The porridge gives this village hope for its children. Do you feel you've changed people's lives here in Malawi? I think with everyone's support we have, such a simple kind of little bit of support that we've shown, which has just echoed around. And I think that's what social media has done. It's just taken Martha's response and shared it and encouraged people to do the same.